I took my toolboxes back to Costco today. When I bought these toolboxes a couple of weeks ago, after all of my shopping around town, I was really impressed with the quality and the value, particularly the drawers that have the lever so that they won't open unless you slide the lever. After I bought them, within a day, I saw the ad for Black Friday, and these were $100 off each. So instead of $5.99, they were $4.99. So the next day, I went back to Costco and I said, hey, you've got this ad and I just bought these. Can I get a refund for the difference? And they told me, unfortunately, we normally do that, but our holiday sales, the Black Friday sales, we don't do that. So I went away and thought about it. I could just take them back, but I already taken them out of the truck and unboxed them and it was just like for $100 each, $200, that's a lot of money, but it just wasn't worth it. Well, then my viewers, as conniving as some of them are, said, hey, just wait for the sale, go down, buy them, and then return them with your original receipt and you'll get your money back, you'll get the difference back. Well, that's not the way I think and, and work and because I'm in business, I know what expenses are and you know, I'm not always just, you know, I want the best value and the best deal, but at the same time, I kind of understand what it takes to be in business and I just figured that that was their rules and they did it because maybe the Black Friday sales are loss leaders and they're money losers and the last thing they need is a thousand of these sold before Black Friday and then everybody coming back in and then they're in the hole rather than the few they would sell on that particular day. Whatever, that's the way my brain works. So today I decided that I would at least go and ask one more time because now the toolboxes are actually on sale. So I stood in line and trying to move the line along they had a a satellite guy coming around and he had a little scanner and he was saying, let me see your receipt and he's scanning, getting everything ready so that the returns would go quicker. And I said, oh, well, I don't have them. Um, they, you know, I've got the receipt and I just, you know, here's the, the, the ad and I just want to see if I can get the difference. And he said, you know, we, we can't do that. It's only, you know, for the items that are sold. But then he said, what you need to do is go in the store and buy two more, bring them back out and get in line and return them and you'll get your refund. And I, I just looked at him, I was like, well, that doesn't sound right. I mean, you guys are gonna have to go through, you guys, you know, your helpers are gonna have to help me load these carts and then I'm gonna come check them out and then we're gonna, and then you gotta, he said, can't we just do that on paper? He said, no, I'm sorry, there's no way. But he said, you know, that's above my pay grade. You'll be up on the line in a few minutes and just ask them. So I decided to stay in the line and I went through the return line and I got up and I said, you know, here's the ad, these are on sale. I just bought these, you know, a couple of weeks ago. And, and you know, I want to just get the difference. It's, you know, $200, this is a lot of money. And she said, you know, I'm really sorry, we can't do that. What you need to do is go into the store and buy two more and then come back and return those and, with your original receipt. And so here I've got my viewers telling me to do that and I'm feeling like it's underhanded, it's the wrong thing to do. But then I go into Costco and I get two people that are handling the returns that are gonna have to do all the work saying, this is what you gotta do. So my wife was with me and she looked at me and I looked at her and well, it feels wrong, it feels a little underhanded, but that's what they're telling me I have to do. So we went in, we took a couple of the trucks, the flatbeds and went in and a couple of guys came over and loaded them for us, so I didn't even have to pick them up. They put them on two carts, just like we did before. We went up. The line was really short because it was early in the day, and people a lot, the store was full, but you know the lines were still short that early in the day. So we went through the line. We went over, and the return line was really short. There's only about five or six people. The satellite guy comes around again with his little scanner, and he looks and he goes, "Oh, you did it!" And I said, "Yeah, I, I did it." And he so he scans my uh, old receipt and scans those and prints out a little receipt return thing and hands it to me he says when you get up there this will make it go quicker so we just pushed them over to the side out of everybody's way stayed in the line went up just just the two of us and my wife did the transaction she handed them over and 
And the lady, you know, sees what we're doing. She says, can I see your other receipt, the one you just used, you just bought them with? And Chris pulls it out. She looks at it. She hands it back to Chris. She does it. And they give us $200 plus tax, which was like $217 that we got back. So it took an hour round trip. Certainly worth doing it. I just felt like it was, but you know, that's the company and that's the way they, and maybe in the big picture, it's better for them to do it that way than just, you know, having those, I don't know. I, their bean counters probably figure that out and that's just the way they do it. So to my viewers that offered that up and I was feeling like that was something that was outside of my personality and I just couldn't do it. You were right. I was wrong and I got my money back. So I'm happy with Costco. They provided a way to do it. They took care of me the way they always do. I got these big, beautiful toolboxes for, let's call it $500, $499, and they got, you know, a nice finish on them, nice drawer glides, just an incredible value. When you see this video, it's probably too late. They're probably going to be back to $599, but they had a pile of them setting on pallets down so they were easy to load, so they were planning on selling them today. Well, if you're at my channel for advice on how to work the system and get the best deal possible, then you're on the wrong channel. I'm not the best guy at that kind of stuff. If you like videos about tools and woodworking and remodels and those kind of things, then you're at the right place. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.